The fact that China said, OK, we're going to let it go to seven, mm. was that a, what, what was it actually? Was it a, f a fire call? Was it a, a kind of just trying to antagonize or put a stop to the antagonizing U.S.? Well, they've been signalling it could go below seven for quite a few months now. I mean, the uh, former PBOC governor has been signalling seven is not a significant level. It should be going below that. And if you like, some ways they've just stopped manipulating the currency because they let it depreciate. We think there's long-term depreciation um, in the currency. And so the fact they just stopped supporting it and then the market took it below seven is means that they've basically sort of given up trying to appease the US in the negotiations. So it's, so it's definitely a political move, but it's not increasing increasing the manipulation, it's actually letting the markets take its course. Okay, but did, did this mean war? I mean, the fact that, sure, they didn't manipulate it, right, it's taking its course, but it's actually quite a powerful signal. I think it certainly suggests that we're not going to get a kind of big improvement in this situation anytime soon. But uh, I mean, uh, as Miranda said, I think that this is quite an obvious response from the Chinese. They've been preparing the ground for some time. This is the sort of path of least resistance. They need the macroeconomic support that a weaker currency and looser financial conditions are going to give their domestic economy. Uh, and this is the sort of the retaliation that works for them. It's also very well targeted at the US stock market, which I think they're deliberately trying to kind of hit Trump where it hurts. OK, so how would they take the currency manipulator label? Well, they've denied it. They say we're not manipulating the currency. I mean, obviously, there is considerable support behind, I mean, you know, they limit capital outflows, they sort of intervene in the currency markets, but that's always been trying to keep it above seven, not below. And so now if they basically say, look, we're not going to bother doing this, then that takes the trade negotiations into, a, you know, we're moving on upon sort of, you know, appeasing on both sides to actually a very much more antagonistic relationship and if you like basically it's just taken another step down and then it becomes more difficult to then find a way back out of here because the, you know the US isn't going to back down the China's now taken the step and so therefore well, you know we're no longer we had the Xi Trump meeting in, in June yeah. what then brings it back to, to a more normal relationship and it's very difficult to see that.